What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about something a little different. Did you know that 50% of the internet is written? Did you know that when you can learn to write well in a persuasive manner, this is called copywriting, you can make a lot of money, a lot of money. And this is something that I really don't talk about a lot, but it's something I do. Every day, and it's gonna become even more pronounced in the future because I'm writing again. Every day, I write something. Every day, it's a mandate to write something. And once again, since I've been through this procedure, I know that I have to build up to it. So right now, I'm writing about close to an hour a day and it's probably going to get up to two to three hours and then max out there once again shout out to the nerd tribe shout out to the nerd gang shout out to my intellectual ninjas because here's one of the things that you have to understand if you can sit down and write persuasive copy that will make a difference with your YouTube channel, that will make a difference with your blog, that will make a difference with your sales page. It literally makes a difference everywhere that you're writing. And one of the things that we do not really talk about because as uh, I woke up this morning and I had a really good night of sales and I know exactly where these sales came from. I put some copy here on YouTube and that's where those sales came from because when I go in my dashboard, I could see where the sales coming from and they all came from YouTube because of some copy that I sat down and wrote. And I was like, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. And I never actually broadcasted myself as a copywriter, but over the years, it's a big part of what I'm doing. And I don't have my wallet, on, I don't have my phone on me. I will show you, I'm listening to a copywriting book and everything I do from emails to sales pages to YouTube things is long form copy. I'm, I'm not trying to do short form copy. I'm trying to do long form copy because long form copy based upon my experiences has always performed the best in terms of making money. And when I was writing the copy, it came to me. I'm going to do a copywriting course because, like I said, I never really talked about it because, you know, I was off in foolish land making crazy videos. But it's something that I do. And the last piece of copy that I wrote produced a lot of sales. And that's how you know that your copy is working when you can put money in your pocket by your writing skills. And you know, as everyone knows, I am a writer. I have several books on Amazon. Funny story about that. Um, Amazon got rid of, it wasn't KDP, it was CreateSpace. And I have lost all access to my books online. I don't really think that they're selling well. In the future, I'll resolve that, but you know, it's kind of funny that I don't have any access to those books because it was weird when you go into the dashboard, they would ask for a zip code and I put all my zip codes in there and it didn't work. So what I think has happened is someone has absconded my work, but the books are not selling a lot, so they're not making a lot of money. So I, that's something I can live with. And once I start, because let me go ahead and explain to you what's happening with me in the writing, because right now I'm focused on copywriting. And if you are a blogger or you have a sales page or you're selling someone, you need to really, really work on your writing. And at the moment, I'm writing an hour a day, and that's going to get up to about three hours a day because I'm writing a book, How to Seduce the Customer. There will be a new blog that's going to be very detailed and personal. So because I've been through this process before, 
I know how to set up my writing schedule and not kill myself because writing pulls from the same brain space that these videos do. So I'm meditating again. So what I'm gonna have to do, and you know, it's, it's just gonna get busier and busier and busier because let me tell you something that more than likely you're not gonna be interested, but I feel like sharing. Today, I was in the gym and then today was leg day and I was doing the leg press and I'm, I'm here to tell you, I have gotten really, really strong in the leg press, like really, really strong, like almost 800 pounds strong, right? And it makes such a difference in the way that I get out. Cause here's the thing is, you know, I drive a Porsche 911 Turbo S, right? And that car is really, really low. It could be lower. I'm thinking about lowering it. And when I first got it, it was really, really hard to get out of. Really hard to get out of, right? And since I've been doing this leg press most of this year, I've gotten stronger. I can just put my feet out and pop right up because in driving my Porsche, which is my favorite car to drive, I can now get in and out effortlessly with ease and it, it is so different. Now, what did I just do that? I just sold you on the benefits of doing leg presses to get out of a Porsche. See, that's how copywriting, because if you just do the features and you don't talk about the benefits, you're not gonna sell anything. <laughs> you're not gonna sell anything. And when I were writing my Craigslist ads, which were five to 10 paragraphs long, I got the best results. Because here's the thing, there's a lot of people who do not read they don't read books, they don't investigate, and they don't write. And in my productivity course, there's some writing classes. There's some things for you to do. But this is going to be something else that I'm going to add to the training because it is dramatically important. And right now, there's a bunch of people on Craigslist. There's a bunch of people on Upwork that you can hire to write your copy. And I'm about to explain why you need to have a basics of copywriting under your belt before you hire someone. Like, you can hire someone and tell them what you want copy written, right? But because you don't know how to write copy and you have no indicator of copy, you're probably not going to get some good copy written, written because you don't know. I mean, they can sell, they can write it up, but until you can produce copy to actually sell stuff, you're not gonna know what good copy is for your product or service. And this is something, whether, I don't care what you're selling. I don't care if you're selling books. I don't care if you're selling um, digital, whatever. It is well worth you spending a year or two in learning how to copyright. Because this is something, let me see, how long have I been doing this? I've been copywriting um, since 2012 or maybe 2011. So we're looking at 12 years of copywriting because I have, my writing has made me money. My writing has gotten me women. My writing has made me famous. So I'm really confident in my writing when it's at a higher level. And this is what I'm working on building because man, when I woke up this morning and saw those sales and I saw exactly where they came from, I was like, mm. we're getting back to where I used to be. Cause I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna write some copy that's gonna be so good I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna have 20 to 30 sales in my inbox in a day. And this, this, there's a process because here's the thing. Number one, you got to be able to turn it on. And what do I mean by that? When you sit down in front of a blank page, you've got to be able to turn your copy on. You can't go, well, what am I gonna write about? You, you, you can't do that. Now, one of the things, and I've seen in the comments, People know when I wrote something and people know when ChatGPT wrote something. And 
I gotta change my ads on my car because I'm getting a lot of people asking me, what do you do for a living? Um, one of the things that you will understand, because this is gonna be part of the training. I'm gonna do some copywriting training. I'm gonna do, because there's a certain space that you have to get into to write good copy. And you have to have a clue, because like I said, I was really, 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 really grateful and happy that I was writing words on a page that turned into money. And this is a skill that like, I don't care if you're online, you need to learn copy because it will help anything that you do from YouTube to Facebook to Instagram to writing virtually anything because 50% of the internet is copy. And I think that video is sucking up a lot of that space because I want you to think, go back to 1995. The internet was about 90, 95% copy written. And this makes a huge difference for books. This makes a difference for blogs. It's, it, it, it just touches on so many things that you're doing online, like videos. If you can copyright a really good script, you can create a really, really good video. Uh, copywriting is like, because this is something like I said, I've never talked about this. It's just something I would do. And essentially there's a process because number one, you got to sit down and you got to write and you got to write a lot. You got to write a lot. And you also need to read because uh, years and years ago, uh, I'll, I'll tell you this story. When I was talking to my friend Blue, I was telling her that I grew up and I used to read quite a bit as a child. I mean, it got to the point where I can read a, a 20 to 30,000 word book in a day because I was my reading got faster and faster and faster. I did all this reading. I read everything about guns. I read stuff about uh, monarchies and civilizations and stuff. And she said, you read so much that it's now coming out. And that was the exact conversation that we had that it is now coming out of you because you've done so much reading. And that's one of the things I would recommend. And here's the thing, you can read books about anything. Doesn't matter. You need to read, you need to put information in your brain. So I want you to think of your brain as a, a field, a field of dark, rich soil. Okay, and as you're putting information in there, things are growing in that soil. And I, I cannot say how important to become a company. And once again, like, I don't think this is something that's gonna take you, well, I've been copywriting for about 12 years. So yeah, it takes some time, but Honestly, I think you can become a really good copywriter, good enough to start selling stuff in six months to a year of cons and this is the key. This, this, this right here is the key. You must consistently write. This is not something that you can, because once again, you know, I wasn't writing the way that I'm writing now. I was always writing emails and stuff, but I wasn't writing the way that I'm writing now. And this is one of the reasons that I was so happy to wake up and see what I saw in my email. I was like, whoa, that was crazy. And once again, it's long form copy. I'm not trying to do short form copy. It's long form copy. And it's a process because like I said, I'm meditating again, I'm following the process. And about three months in the future, my copywriting should be back to where it used to be because it's not at that level because I haven't been writing every day. And for you to become good, let me go ahead and put a stick in that. I haven't been writing every day, but I've been producing a lot of videos and videos and copywriting come from the same mental space. And that's why I feel 
my copy is going to be really, really good three months from now or maybe sooner because I've been using that space. And once again, if you can do really good copy and you know, if I wasn't so busy on the revamp and the things that I'm doing and building, this is a service that I could sell because, you know, let me give you an example. I'm not going to sell you this pen. Uh, I've been playing around with my laugh mics. And the strangest thing with these bad boys is I'm in this building, right? And a lot of times I will set it on the frequency. And it'll be fine. And then the frequency will go off. And I will not know it until after I produce the video. And it, it got to be really, really annoying because, you know, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a period of making videos and it would pop up in the videos and there was a lot of complaints. So I'm playing around with this, but let me explain to you how do you sell this. If I was to sell you this lav mic, I would have to, first of all, I couldn't tell you what it does. If I was just to go ahead and say, it does this, it does a good video, that's not. Copywriting to sell into this mic would be, hey, do you want to sound like a king? This little device here will enrich your voice and make you sound majestical. It will make you sound like a god. It will give your voice such resonance and it will convince people that they're speaking to someone who's on an important level. See, that's copywriting. Not, it's a lab mic, it records real, you know, it gets your, that, 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 that stuff, that, that stuff will not sell this mic. You know, if you know the Sennheiser brand is a, a pretty good mic, if you know that, that sells it. But once again, you know, we're going, like I said, it's going to come later, but I'm going to do a copywriting course and how to write and how to set yourself up. And to me, that's going to be one of the most important courses because when you can create verbiage and use language to create sales, and I can tell you, I can tell you from personal experience, my copy in the beginning sucked. It completely sucked. And my sales sucked. And as I improve my copy in my writing and my verbiage and I literally, I remember I wrote a piece of copy for the Hustlers Kung Fu and I did 50 sales in a day, 50 sales in a day. And if you're a person who sells something online, whether it's a product or a digital course, to know to get 50 sales in 24 hours, that's a lot. Um, I don't have my phone on you because I got to remember it was 50 sales. The price point was 500 bucks and that was $25,000 in less than 24 hours. And I knew it and I, I went back and I read that copy and I reproduced that copy in various different emails and I started getting similar results. 50 sales in one day was my highest record. My next highest record was 42. And that's how you know your copy's working because you're making sales, you're getting money. And you know, the thing that popped off the other day was 10 sales. So I'm very, very happy about that. I am ecstatic about that because as we get back into the revamp, revamping the channel, revamping the business, revamping of me and starting to work on the copy and the creating of sales pages, because here's the thing, uh, there's a lot of people out there selling copywriting and you can actually hire someone to write some copy for you, right? And then throw that copy on your website and nothing sells. And you're not going to know it until after you hired this person, paid this person and their copy isn't working. And this is why you need to have what I want to call foundational copywriting skills enough where you can get a few sales where you can know that when they write that copy for you, you can read that copy because typically I have a sense of what's going to happen after I write my copy. I got into that point where I was like, 
this is gonna do really well. Cause that one that did the 50 sales, I was like, this is gonna do really, really well. And it did really, really well. And one of the things that you wanna do is be able to produce copy and integrate that in all of your writing. Because like I said, people know, people know when I write something and when I use ChatGPT, they instantly know because it's such a difference in word use, word choice in the, the fault. Because one of the things I will share with you, what, when I do what I like to call short sentences in long form copy, that works the best. Because it's like boom, 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 boom. Right, it's like you're reading it, and it's the when you read a short sentence, it gets to your brain quicker, if that makes any sense. And it's like boom, 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 boom. And I have learned this over the years from writing all of those Craigslist ads, right? That short form, short sentences in long form copy works extremely well. I am not someone that will write an extremely long sentence or something that could be like two sentences and one sentence those do not work as well for me once again they may work for someone else but they don't work as well for me and whenever i'm hitting it boom 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 and last night when i wrote that piece i was like this is probably gonna do okay and i woke up this morning it did okay and once you can learn copy and this this, this is gonna take some time this this is gonna take some time because number one most of us are not writers we don't spend any time writing and i gotta say at a minimum you need to write every day for 30 days at a minimum just to get going because once you go ahead and isolate this skill that's six figures minimum in your pocket once you get this skill uh there uh, I would feel that if I were to start advertising my copy, because let me go ahead and if I was to sell copywriting, I would explain what I would do. First thing I would do is create a blog, create a blog about copywriting, create a YouTube channel about copywriting, and then create a page about copywriting. Because as I create my blog, YouTube channel, and, uh, I start copywriting on LinkedIn, I start to let a whole bunch of people know what I do and I would start picking up customers left and right from that. That's how I, I would not like do cold outreach because cold outreach, you gotta do a lot of research because the thing is you cannot send them a general email and hope it's gonna work because it's not, it's gonna get ignored. So you're gonna need to know who you're emailing, you're gonna need to know some of their accomplishments and that's gonna take time for you to do that research to send out a cold outreach email. And just again, once again, this is one of my skill sets, um, getting inbound leads. This is something I'm really good at. So that's what I would do if I wanted to sell my copywriting services. And honestly, based upon the fact that I know that I can create copy that creates sales, my confidence level is really, really high. It's really, really high. And I would pick a certain lane, because this is the thing. I would not be doing copy to sell, like the, I wouldn't be doing copy to sell, what are these things called, coasters. I wouldn't be, I, I wouldn't want to do that. But I would be doing technology, I would be doing SaaS, I would be doing online courses. I, I know for a fact that I can create copy to sell online courses. I know for a fact, because that's something I've done over and over and over again. And one of the things that you need to do, and this is one of the reasons I reset the channel, because the people who are not interested in starting the business, the people who are not interested in these nerdy things, they're just gonna completely ignore this because I think that basketball player's name was Kimba Wood, and he, I think he came out of Yukon, and there was this thing about, I haven't read a book. And there's a lot of people who just don't like reading, don't enjoy reading, and I'm gonna tell you, it is an important part of becoming a great copywriter, doing a lot of reading. Once again, remember that fertile soil of dark dirt in your brain? 
as you deposit stuff in your brain, stuff's gonna grow. Um, I got to a point where I had to write, and this this is this is a very valuable skill set for you to work on, for you to develop, for you to build out, because this is going to create so much money. I mean, becoming a good copywriter for yourself. And this is one of the things that happens. People who do copywriting and then they create their own product, they don't copyright for anyone else because there was a guy, he was a copywriter, he created his own product. And I think this guy was doing like 250,000 a year because people would pay him because he wrote really good copy. And then he created his own website, he started selling his own product. In his first year, he made like five million. At that point, you could not pay him to write copy for you because he was writing his own stuff and he, he got really, really good at writing copy. And this, this once again, is an, a, a key thing, a key thing for anything or anyone selling anything online. It is key. And I would say, now if you got a lot of money and you want to go out and hire the top copywriters because uh, the copywriters who are making like $50,000 a year, they're good. And that's where I say you should be to sell your stuff. But the copywriters who are making six and seven figures, these guys are geniuses. You can't afford to hire them because they're so expensive because their copy is so good. So what I would recommend that you would do is one, start reading a lot of books today. Make it a habit to read every day. I don't care if it's five, 10, 20 minutes, whatever you can fit in, start consistently reading and start writing every day. And th this is the thing, like when I sit down at my computer and I get ready to write copy, I have no clue to what's coming out of my mind. I just sit there because one of the things, and this is about having a home office and having it set up that way. Uh, I'm set up to go into my office and produce because I've, it's arranged that way. But when I sit down, I have no clue to what I'm gonna write. All I know is I have a blank page, then I put a prompt, and next 30 minutes later, there's stuff on that page. And that's where you gotta be to the point that you can start killing it with copywriting and making money online. So once again, there will be a copywriting course uh, probably a little later in the process. And once again, be sure to get the money mindset course. Link's gonna be below. It's gonna be in the in the description to get the money mindset course. Be sure to get into the corporate citizen playbook because if you go ahead and get in there now at this ridiculously cheap rate, you're gonna get everything that I'm going to produce into 2023. And I'm here to tell you, it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot. So this is what you're gonna to wanna to get in as we move down the road. So my name is Glendon Cameron, and I will see you guys in the next one.